everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Sarah. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, so one of the Christmas presents that Sarah got me is going to be this video today. <laughs> um, this wasn't the plan behind the gift, but it works out. Yeah, so she got like some new, she wrote up like some New Year's uh, Eve questions and we did these on New Year's Eve and then I was like, this would be a really good video. So we're going to do some of them, if not all of them, for a video. Yeah. And I want to know your guys' answers down below too. Yeah, so write your answers down. We have these questions. Probably take a minute to focus or <laughs> focus at all. But there's 22 questions mm -hmm. and write down your answers. Yeah. And again like and subscribe <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button on this video and then hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed mm -hmm. you know where they are yeah let's do it let's get into it all right do you want to do them yeah this is okay okay first question number one best trip of the year best <laughs> trip of the year um, I'm just gonna go with the same one I did last time. Was the uh, last one to the cabin or yeah. our usmus? Mm -hmm. That was a really good trip. I'm gonna go with the meteor shower trip. Yeah. We did a last minute one night trip just because we found out there's a meteor shower nearby. We found a place, or we were recommended a place that was perfect for viewing the meteor shower. It was. We stayed up later than I ever stay up because I am not a <laughs> night owl. We were literally falling asleep on a hill, um, <laughs> laying under a sleeping bag. But the meteor shower was just like mind blowing. Never forget. It. So yeah. beautiful. Okay, question number two. Best movie of the year. I figured out what it's called. The Old Guard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was really I'm good. going with well, yeah, I'm going with the old guard. That's what I'm gonna go with. Um it was my favorite one. It was really um good. and I'm gonna watch it again now, later. <laughs> what about so you? my sister's been calling me a nerd lately and this answer really is gonna solidify. Mm -hmm. Um, my octopus teacher. <laughs> I mean, you know I love, there's so many movies that I really love this year. It's either that or Soul. Yeah, but, Soul was really good. Um, my octopus teacher, I was like, crying. <laughs> Very invested in that movie. <laughs> I would say, like, my runner-ups were, like, Soul, uh, Bloodshot, and mm. Invisible Man. Oh, yeah, Invisible Man was so good. I think Invisible Man, like, the fact that I enjoyed it when it's definitely not my favorite, like, category of movie, yeah. says a lot. It was just a really good movie. Yeah, it was really good. And I just love her. Elizabeth Moss is amazing. <laughs> okay, number three. Funniest moment of the year. I had a hard time with this one when we did it the first time, and I wish I would have, like, had time to think of another... Like, really think about an answer. Okay, so I'm gonna... This is gonna sound like... It's not really, like, one specific moment, but it's when we are sending each other TikToks, but we're in the house, and we can hear each other laughing at the TikToks. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll hear the song or the sound of the TikTok, and you know what TikTok it is, and so we're laughing at different, at, like, different rooms of the house, because I'm laughing because I know what you're watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it gets me every time. For me, one of the funniest moments of the year that should not be one of the funniest moments of the year was me and Sarah watching the presidential debate. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we it's watched like that first, funny. and that was the first time I'd ever watched a presidential debate too. But like, it was yeah, it was like that like painful. A lot funny. of, like, a this, lot of this year was funny. painful, funny. <laughs> yeah, it was like this shouldn't be funny, but this is hilarious. <laughs> be a lot funnier if it wasn't so serious yeah joe biden yeah. telling trump to could just <laughs> shut up man <laughs> yeah okay or the fly on pence's head oh. that was, <laughs> that was okay. it was either the fly mention. on pence's head or when um the kamala was asked like did you notice the fly and she was like <laughs> 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 okay okay one word to describe this year is shit show Roller coaster. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Roller coaster. Um, unexpected. Yeah, I'd say unexpected. Unpredictable. How about that? There we go. Like, there's a lot of things where you're like, yeah, I saw that coming. But, like, if we had to guess a lot of the things that happened this year, the year before, like, if, if at the end of 2019 we had to predict what was going to happen in 2020. <laughs> no, I couldn't have ever predicted it. Like, some of the responses, mm -hmm. yes, you could predict. Okay, question number five. Favorite 
Favorite TV show of the year? I'll let you do this one first. Why have I got my... Oh, The Wilds. Yeah. Definitely The Wilds. So good. It was fun. It was really nice to see um, so many young female characters at the forefront and um, like a lot of realistic portrayals of their lives without it being like um, sarcastic. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when they actually do show like real struggles that young women go through, they're like kind of making fun of it. Yeah. The fact that they're like, oh, it's not like really a serious problem, but I like the show actually took it serious. Like mm -hmm. the struggles that you, you youths go through. Total different direction. <laughs> That's um, good. Give them variety. Just because I can, this is Give what I'm variety. thinking of. I was yeah. either going to go between the boys. Mm. Oh, wait, no, no, that wasn't it. It was, oh yeah, it was the boys, hunters, or this oh, anime I just watched really on good. Netflix called Son of Zeus. The but I'm probably gonna go with Hunters. The plot twists and Hunters, I was like, damn. Yeah, that movie, that movie, that show was incredible. Yeah. So yeah, really I'm gonna good. go with, with Hunters. Yeah. And if you liked Hunters, then what was the movie we just watched? <laughs> the, oh. like, the Good Liar or something like yeah, that? Yeah, a, a very good liar. Okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Question number six. Most memorable moment of the year. Um. I'm gonna, can I go first? Go ahead. I would go with um, watching the videos of all the people celebrating um, when Biden won. Oh, yeah. We didn't actually like, go out and celebrate. I wish we had, but then again, I mean, like, we are in a pandemic, so I'm like, I'll let the people who couldn't resist yeah, do it yeah. <laughs> and keep the same, stay at home. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was probably the most memorable. The most memorable moment of this year? I'd either say, like the meteor shower just like yeah. being in that moment or like the day when me and sarah like decided to start this youtube channel like yeah that was like for sure like a very memorable moment where we like mm -hmm. really like went into it and like what are we gonna do what's our channel gonna be about and got serious started planning okay question number seven what are you looking forward to Next year is the question, but like, what are you looking forward to this in 2021? Year, 2021 yeah. Um, I'm gonna I, say progress. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, change. Yeah, I, I'd say progress is a big part of mine, but like, progress in music. Ah, so I want to put more out. I want to make more steps to making music like an actual career. Yeah. So. And this. Yeah. Exploring YouTube more? Mm-hmm. It's fun. Question number eight. Number eight is favorite song of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to go with Wonderful Wonderful by Burna Boy. That was that's yeah. That was really That's good. the song of the year for me. Um I feel like you could answer this question for me better than I can. What is Sarah's song of the year? <laughs> um What's the song that you play for me in the car when I say let's get uh, give me get jazzed up? Roses. <laughs> the remix <laughs> and wonderful so it's yeah, like yeah so true. those yeah but the roses remix that's yeah yeah i'll say that was gonna be like an honorable mention of mine because that song is also great there were songs that i found towards the end of the year like i started listening to more folk again at the end of the year um but i feel like it's hard for me to count them yet because i want to i would want to pick one that like lasted months of me still wanting to listen to it you know mm -hmm. okay Question number nine. Number nine is favorite holiday moment or favorite holiday memory. Ooh, I'm gonna say when we were in the snow on our Christmas day together, just the two of us, and it was snowing. Mm -hmm. And we were dancing in the snow. Yeah. I mean, when you live in a city, especially in Portland, it's like you don't get snow very often, let alone do you get a moment outside alone in the snow. Mm-hmm. Usually, if you if it is snowing, like every single person in the neighborhood is out. Right. <laughs> um, I got to like Facetime my entire family, or we did a Zoom meeting on Christmas of that like my really entire cute. family, which is only like the second or third, maybe like second time that like my entire just like immediate family has been together on Christmas in like the last decade. Yeah. Yeah, we've been all over the place. <laughs> Number 10. Number 10 is the biggest lesson learned. You can't be prepared for everything. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. okay. Like, I still am someone who likes to be prepared as much as I can. Like, that's just who I am. But I have learned that it's okay 
for the times that you aren't prepared for what just happened it doesn't need to be a meltdown. Yeah. I would say... What was I we are say? equipped to handle it. Yeah. Try and be more in the moment. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. With the yeah. Flow. Be more in the moment because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. So you're, you want to, yeah. to be in the moment that you are currently in. Yeah, you can't stress about the future. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, not so much. Obviously, yeah. you can think about the future. But... <laughs> Planning is good, but <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna end on a weird number, eleven. <laughs> Favorite food this year. Favorite food. Um, I'm gonna let you go first. I think you know what yours is. What you said. So I discovered I a new food this year. New to me. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly enough, usually I feel like there's a lot of foods that I like had growing up that you didn't have. Mm-hmm. We found one that I did not have. Pierogies. Yes. I love pierogies. They're really, really good. <laughs> he made them for me for the first time like <laughs> at the end of last year. And then I was like, okay, the next four meals, uh, four, next four meals are pierogies, yes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My favorite food of the year, Ethiopian food. I'd only ever had it once, but I had it again, and I remembered how much I loved it. So good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 20 seconds left. So that's all we have for today. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. We appreciate you all so much. If you like our videos, thank you. If you're subscribed, thank you. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. One day I'll learn to wave normal.